Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It's going to be focused on your love life. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. I've already shuffled the cards and we can begin. For those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings available for 2020 for love. You can find the link in the description box below. So the first card that I'm looking at is showing to me that someone has walked away from the situation. We'll clarify this energy to see what it is referring to. Okay, so this particular card talks about a sense of freedom, right? This could be you, this could be the individuals we're dealing with, but there is someone that has, you know, left a situation, they need time to think, they want to go off and do their own sort of thing. This is about following one's instinct, following one's heart, not really aware or considerate of the dangers or difficulties that are surrounding the situation. So it could be relating to many things perhaps the individual you're dealing with you know they just don't want to deal with anything right now they just want to take care of themselves they just want to go do what they need to do to recharge their batteries on the same note you could be feeling this way as well right so someone may have left the other could be enjoying their freedom or you know the one that left is uh, going about doing their own sort of thing that's the energy i'm picking up right now the next energy is showing you know an indication of someone feeling trapped someone feeling stuck, someone uh, feeling like they couldn't leave, they couldn't do what they wanted, they, you know, felt restricted, they felt limited, they felt as if their power was being taken away. And so this is a very interesting energy because if you've, uh, you know, been talking to this individual a lot and if they've been mentioning the fact that they need space or they need time to think, they need to figure things out, you know, if they've been telling you that um, something's not right, you know, or if they've just been very, very, uh, you know, stubborn and uh, wanted to do things their own way, you know, then this could be a, an indication of this energy, right? For some of you, you may have felt as if, you know, you can't get through to this individual, perhaps communication slowed down, you know, you just felt like um, they weren't listening to you, right? And they weren't thinking about you. Okay, this could also go the uh, same way, right? It could also mean that uh, you could have been feeling this way towards this individual. Things got difficult, they got strenuous, you know, both you and this individual didn't know how to handle uh, going forward. Now, the energy that I'm seeing is uh, in the challenges position. This is an interesting energy because it's showing someone that was always free to leave, always free to do whatever they wanted to do, always free to have the freedom that they've craved. But... You know, at the same time, I'm also picking up with this particular energy that there was a hesitation to do so. So let's see. I feel like someone was um, fighting for something, fighting for something, constantly fighting for something. You know, maybe uh, they felt as if they have to defend themselves. They have to do X, Y and Z, right, in order to ensure their independence, in order to ensure that... Um, they are defying the odds in order to, you know, come off as strong. Whatever they were trying to do, I feel like this individual wanted to prove a point that they're strong. This could also be, you know, your energy coming forward. Whoever was the most aggressive or the one that was, you know, trying to defy the odds, trying to make it known that, you know, I'm not going to be pushed around. I'm not going to let anybody tell me what to do, etc. It's that sort of attitude. And it's an attitude that defies the odds. It's constant. It's something that you don't really you know see in the position of the intention a lot unless someone is feeling really threatened right so it's very interesting lots and lots of frustration lots of um you know energy that is centered around feeling powerless feeling like you know you can't deal with the situation it's that sort of energy it's that energy where one individual you know they feel like 
maybe they should have done things different, right? But then instead of actually doing things different and switching things up, it's um, a lot of behavior that is repeated, a lot of behavior that is constant, a lot of behavior that doesn't really um, change, right? So I do feel like in terms of the energy, there's this uh, conflicting uh, point of view where one individual knows that change is important, but not really doing anything to change anything in the situation, which is more difficult, right? So what I'm seeing from the cards is, you know, at some point there was a lot of communication. There is a sign that uh, the two of you may have discussed a lot of things a few weeks back. Or perhaps, you know, whenever this period may have occurred, but there was some major discussion. And as a result of that discussion, there was some sort of realization of uh, the truth. Maybe someone was completely honest, forthright, and was just saying things as it is, you know. It was um, a symphony of the truth. That's what I feel like it was, right? And it was just flowing and flowing and flowing. And this sense of denial, the sense of not wanting to deal with things, it all came out in the open, you know, it feels as if everything just hit the fan. And I feel like you couldn't look away from the situation. They couldn't look away from the situation. But what's interesting is that it was done not to hurt. It was done not to cause uh, confusion or to cause this guarded energy, yet it has achieved that. So I feel like at the end, the objectives were sincere, but the message was misconstrued the message was misunderstood you know feels like um someone never really understand where the other person was coming from because there's a lot of confusion here there's a lot of um energy that is dealing with not being able to know what is real from what is not real you know someone went back into that fantasy land and uh, they you know they're feeling guarded they're feeling stubborn they're feeling like you know, I don't want to deal with this. I don't know if I can handle this. It's that sort of energy. And it's not an energy that achieves anything. It's not an energy that really gets results. It's an energy that causes people to sort of fall back into this, you know, coma where they're just pretending as if life is okay and they're just functioning as a human being, but they're not really, you know, facing the reality of their life. It's like there's a whole bunch of chaos happening around them and they're just going into their own little world and sometimes that's a really good defense mechanism sometimes you need that in life because uh, things can get so difficult but i feel like uh, in this sense you know there's an opportunity here to really face things and there's a hesitation to look at the truth or look at what has been said look at what has been uh, spoken about through the course of the uh, you know confrontation or whatever sort of argument right so that's a very interesting energy because I feel like someone has become very cold, very distant. Like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to face this anymore. It's like they have this uh, energy where they just don't want to face anything. They don't want to look at anything. They don't want to deal with anything. Right. Let's look at the next energy. There's uh, this energy of heartbreak and pain. And, you know, uh, heartbreak and pain is always something that comes up in the readings because I'm so sensitive to these energies that I can recognize it, even if it's in the most subtle form, right? It always is presented in my tarot readings, which is very interesting because um, this is something that I can uh, notice. It always stands out. And the reason for this is because... I can sort of see the big picture and see what needs to be healed, what needs to be fixed and how to put everything together. You know, sometimes people can just read a situation, but they don't know how to fix it. And uh, it's important to know how to fix these things. It's important to know how to make things right. Some people can just look at a situation, analyze it, observe it and say, well, what can I do? That's life. Right. But it's important to be able to know you know, what is the cure for this? What is going to, you know, remedy this situation and how to do it and how to go about it? That's very integral in being able to do this kind of work. It's very important, right? So I see from the heartbreak, there's 
Well, there's a lack of communication, firstly. Someone has been thinking a lot, but not sharing a lot. There's this ending that occurred, but there's a lot of stress, right? There's a lot of stress about something that is not being spoken about between the two of you. And there's this desire to run away from it. And by running away from it, neither you or this individual are going to fix things, right? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I'm going to be looking at what needs to be done in this situation. What is this individual feeling? How to move forward in this relationship? And um, basically finding the solutions to the challenges that you are encountering during this period of time. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.